uh, Tobago is listed as the ultimate wedding getaway in Marie Claire magazine. So really? if you get want to get married, um, you know, you don't have to go too far. You could go right across to the Sister Island, Tobago. But let's hear more about it. Mr. Louis Lewis, who is the CEO of the Tobago Tourism Agency, is joining us via Skype. Mr. Lewis, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm very well. Fine, thanks. Yeah. Now, this isn't the first time that Tobago has been listed as a wedding destination. So you must be feeling good that it continues to be such. Well, absolutely. And, and it, it, it has come across as a result of some strategic placements and interactions with the magazine. Um, and also based on the fact that we have used the weddings and honeymoons as one of the pillars for attracting visitors to Tobago. Mm -hmm. um, so it's quite interesting and very gratifying that we have now captured that title in a very prominent magazine. In the years before this, uh, was Tobago or what has Tobago been doing to really develop and get this title as a wedding destination? Well, it, it starts from the broad strategy where we have identified some of what we call the core attractors of, for Tobago. And the weddings niche was, is actually one of those. Mm -hmm. And what we did was that we sought to place ads and advertisements on Tobago that are amenable to the weddings market. Mm -hmm. And we did that in areas where we thought that it would be strategically um, widespread. So we use the Marie Claire magazine because it fits the demographic of people who are actually getting married. That's between ages of 20 and about 35. And um, we placed the advertisements there and we had it replicated on the social media platforms. So that gave us instantly 500,000 circulation through that magazine. And um, it's really to, it really shows up Tobago as an ideal place for a wedding. And then it ties in with all of the other attractions on Tobago um, with regard to how you can make a, a, a wedding unique and attractive, um, an authentic experience, one that ties in with our culture, our heritage, the culinary experiences, all of which are not available anywhere else. Um, so it's bringing all of those things together um, that allows that probably afforded us to get that title in a very prominent magazine. And and some people might not be aware, but Marie Claire is actually a subsidiary of Time Inc., which is more popularly known. So it gives us very very wide um, um, readership. Yeah, but people can say there are so many other islands that we can go to, so many other places that we can go to to have our wedding. What really makes Tobago stand out and would encourage people to want to come to the island? Well, it's alignment of a product that is not available anywhere else. Um, from a broad perspective, you, so one may say, well, Tobago has beaches, everywhere else has beaches. But we can advertise Tobago as having 42 different types of sand. We can talk about the natural environment which, uh, with the longest protected um, rainforest reserve. We can talk about the topography, the waterfalls. And you have all of those in a small concentration of 300 square kilometers. Um, you add to that all those other unique features like the nylon pool, the goat racing, the Sunday mass, Sunday school, sorry. You know, all of those things make Tobago a unique place you know, to visit. And that's what makes it stand out. And that's what makes it attractive. And, you know, and, 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 and it makes it a very, a very compelling proposition for somebody who's looking for off the beaten track, an unusual place with good value for money and makes Tobago attractive. How many weddings have we had since this advertisement came out or since we've started to promote <clears throat> Tobago as a wedding destination? Well, the records for, for weddings are a bit lagged, so I cannot give you an exact number. What I can tell you is that based on our trackings of those advertisements coming through the Marie Claire magazine, mm -hmm. we've had nearly a million impressions so if you tie that to the increase in arrivals that we are seeing coming from the market in which we are promoting it, where the UK arrivals are up by about 8%, you know, it tells us that we have been successful. And that is how we can use anecdotal evidence to verify the successes that we've had so far. But maybe at a subsequent, um, at a subsequent interview, I will actually give you the, the, the actual number of weddings that have, have, have taken place on Tobago. Yeah, because I, I think a lot of people would want to know how that has been going, especially if we look at, uh, you know, pushing this brand for Tobago. Yeah, and, and there's, there's, there's an addition. Um, in 2017, towards the end of the year, the government took the decision to re relax the 
the um, the the residency requirements um, for persons willing to get married. So it it became very attractive from a tourism perspective. People looking for destination weddings. So you you. You, you you could get married within 24 hours of landing in Trinidad and Tobago, and that made it that gave it a significant advantage over some of the competitors where residency requirements are anywhere between three and five days. So it made it very attractive for just not just the weddings market but weddings and honeymoons as well. Mm. I, I'm sitting here and thinking, and you mentioned the Nylon Pool. Um, you know, how possible is it for somebody to have their wedding out there? A wedding I think it is possible, but we have to be very careful, you know, <laughs> with, with the sensitivity on the roof and on the reef and what actually transpires there. But it is very possible. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I'm thinking, you know, you mentioned waterfalls and other countries would have a whole lot of things that Tobago can offer. But you know, having something different, and I see Carrie smiling, having something different, you know, is, is what would really convince people to want to come. Yeah, is it is the distinction? Is it's is is having the bragging rights to say that I had an island wedding. I had. A wedding at the bottom of of, uh, of a waterfall. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a, a wedding with you know some cultural infusion where you had some drumming of Indian or African origin. You know, those things make for a very interesting um, proposition, and, and it, it distinguishes um, the, the the participants from what their friends and relatives do. You know, so that's what makes um, destination weddings attractive. Uh, Mr. Louis Lewis, as I have you here, other than this wedding destination brand that we're trying to push, what else is happening with the Tobago Tourism Agency to develop tourism on the island, especially as we're in the Java, the July-August period? Well, we've been doing a number of things. For instance, um, just like we've done with the weddings market, we are doing the soft adventure. We have an alliance and a program with the National Geographic Explorer, and that is really for people who are interested in the soft adventure or just nature lovers generally. Um, they have done some filming on Tobago recently. Um, that was that would have been in May, June. They are coming back next week to do some more photography that features on the, the natural environment. Um, we will be doing five pieces in that magazine, and they will be giving us a content hub that allows persons of, who are looking for footage and um, imagery and videography on Tobago can actually see you know, some of that, um, that, that stuff. We think that the circulation would be phenomenal. And um, while the five pieces would be uh, editorial content, and, and you have to make a distinction between what is editorial content. If you see articles in the National Geographic magazine mm -hmm. that don't have that yellow ring around the article, it means that it is material that is submitted. But they are actually sending journalists to curate that material so it will be their authentic um, certification or confirmation of you know what's in in in, the, in that magazine, so it's going to give that whole niche market a, a significant fillip. So, so, um, uh, we Mr. are also Lewis. working very closely with the Heritage, um, the Festivals Commission, to promote heritage activities on on Tobago. We are doing similar um, act, um, promotions for beach, sun, sun, sea, and relaxation. Um, we are working very closely with the airline partners to utilize their networks for reaching out to their uh, clientele. Mr. So all of that has happened simultaneously while we are... All right, you Mr. Know, Lewis, uh, thank you very much for, for joining us and telling <laughs> us what the uh, Tobago Tourism Agency is doing and, of course, uh, promoting Tobago as a wedding destination carry a lot of exciting things. Oh, yes, most